Welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, we're going to be talking about ChatGPT, but I'm actually going to be using an alternative. Uh, we're going to be creating a YouTube script. And uh, for those of you that are using ChatGPT, it is down. I wanted to use it today and it uh, that's happening more and more because the entire world knows about it. So uh, it's really not their fault. I mean, you just can't have millions upon millions of people logged in at the same time using that much uh, bandwidth. So it makes sense. Um, but here's the thing guys it's going to be paid uh, eventually and so not everybody's going to be using it because it's going to be a paid tool but i've got some really great alternatives we can actually use a couple of different alternatives but today i'll show you one of the best alternatives that is basically using the same technology and is going to be able to do um, very similar to what chat gpt does so we're going to be able to uh, we're going to be creating a youtube script quickly a very very nice one that you'd actually go have to go and outsource on fiverr or something like that and hire your own writers to get this uh, quality, but you're going to be able to have this at your fingertips. So no more waiting days for a script, uh, paying 20, 30, 40 bucks for your YouTube script. And now you can just move forward with your business if you want to do uh, YouTube and create YouTube channels to make money. So that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Uh, we're going to go get a script. I'm going to show you how that works. And then also I'll show you how we're going to use Pictory AI to create our video. And then I'll talk about the voiceovers as we get going. So here we go. So we're inside Jasper. Jasper has recently in the last couple of months, um, Jasper has released a, a tool called Jasper Jat. Jasper. J this is crazy. The tongue tied there. Jasper chat. There we go. Jasper chat was created. And um, from what I'm seeing is I don't think it's uh, taking any of your credits away, which is super, super cool. Because if you use uh, this new chat feature inside of Jasper, it's not counting towards your regular plan. I just re-signed up to uh, Jasper. I'll be doing some more tutorials on it. It's been uh, probably over a year since I've used the tool. It's kind of nice to come back and see where ja uh, Jasper has gone. Um, this is definitely one of the industry leading uh, AI technologies for uh, writing and copywriting. And so we're back, we're going to be doing some tutorials. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to teach me money methods. So you get more uh, details about this tool and how it um, could help your business grow. All right. So uh, the new feature down here, we're in chat and it's under beta. So it's not costing any credits and you could spend all your time in here. Um, you could even get one of the lowest. I think you have to get boss mode and the lowest plan that you can get is like $59 a month. It's going to be 50,000 words. Um, but if you get that plan, then you'll be able to use um, Jasper chat um, as much as you want right now while it's kind of in beta. So as you can see right here, uh, I wrote in here, I, I told it to, uh, we're going to come back. I'll show you because this one did really, really good. Um, but I'll just show you what I did. I said something like, um, write me a <clears throat> stunning and engaging YouTube script for the top, uh, let's just say, um, on the top 10 smartest dogs in the world, right? So I said that there's a section over here. You can actually include Google uh, search data. I think that what that means that other tools that I've been using is that that's it's going to try to get as recent information as possible. In this case, um, we have enough information. Like we don't really need to do that. But if you're trying to get like the, you know, last night's NBA score or something like that, if you click this on, it should be able to an answer it. But in this case, the top smartest dogs, top 10 smartest dogs in the world, give or take five or 10 uh, dogs, um, you, uh, you know, um, there it's going to, it's going to consist of, um, pretty consistently the top 10 list is going to be pretty well known. So we're just going to push the um, enter button over here, right? And it's going to go out. And, um, I like the speed of this as well. I think it's a little faster than chat GPT. And plus you, uh, what I like about this is that you've got a paid tool and, you know, when you go over to chat GPT, this is what's happening. You can't even get in. Like this is literally what's happening. I push refresh. You can't get in. It is full. Everybody else is in there, um, staying in there all day long, working away. Right. So you can't log in. So if you want a similar technology, right. And you don't want to wait like everybody else and be part of the millions, you know, tens of millions of people that are logged in using this right now, or that are trying to get into chat GPT, 
you can go over and use <laughs> Jasper. And it's going to be um, just as good. So we're going to come through and you're going to see right here. Are you ready to find out the top 10 smartest dogs in the world? Strap yourselves in and get ready for an incredible ride as we explore the brains and brawn of these intelligent canine companions. It's a great like that is the kind of YouTube script and introduction that you would expect when you watch these viral videos, right? Uh, it's engaging. They say sometimes it's even kind of corny, uh, like over the top, but we watch them and right. And that's what it almost makes you stay right. Instead of just being completely boring, they it's putting in some, some uh, flavor in here, right? Into that introduction. It's doing what I was asking, which is write me a stunning and engaging YouTube script, right? Now we can also come and check it out. I like to go and just see how many words it gave us. It gave us 500 words and I didn't even have to do this tool, this trick, which is we can actually come down here and we can say expand on the above. If you need a bigger script, if you're going for that eight minute video, you can literally write down here, expand on the script above. Always be as specific as possible and you're going to get really good results. But I don't really want to do that because this is a perfect amount, 500 words for us to move on to show you this tutorial. But uh, now you have um, first on our list is Border Collie, right? And I wrote this above uh, practicing, right? The Border Collie, it was number one, right? And then you have the Poodle, you have Golden Retriever, German Shepherd, Doberman Pinscher. These are all dogs that are um, very common in the top 10 smartest dogs. I'm not sure if I, um, if Labrador was, uh, is, is always, um, on there or not, but, uh, certainly not my favorite dog. Uh, they're just way too high, high energy and they knock over everything on your, um, coffee table with their giant tails wagging. They're just, they're, uh, I'll give them that. They are very happy, uh, dogs, uh, uh Labradors. That's why they're the best ranked as the number one best family dog either way though. Um, we're going to come through over here and you can look, uh, first on our list is the border collie. Um, they, you know, they, they're known for, um, working dogs, herding livestock, but you can just see, and then you have the poodle, the German shepherd, golden retriever, um, Doverman pincher, um, the Shetland sheepdog, Labrador retriever. Okay. So it must be in the top 10. Uh, I don't know what the papillon is, but that one has made it two times in a row as well. And then you have this nice conclusion right here as well. And you can do different things. You can actually hide this. You can uh, say good message. You can copy this and you can open it in a new document as well. We've got a nice one over here. You can also uh, tell it to give you a really nice conclusion right, right over here. Now write an amazing conclusion about the above script with a call to action to like and subscribe to the channel. And then look, so there you have it from the top 10 to smartest dogs right here. Uh, it's a really good, it gives you what you're used to seeing. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on things fury, uh, things furry and four legged, right? So uh, you can just tell it um, to be as persuasive as to be as engaging, to be as creative as possible. And it just does it. So this technology is, is really, really uh, smart. So we've got um, this, I'm going to go ahead and copy this, right? We have a script that is written. A first run looks really good. We're going to come over here to Pictory. There are, um, you know, there's in video, there's of course, there's so many, I could show you so many different softwares that, that, that can make this work. Right. But my favorite um, is Pictory because it, uh, back in the Vidnami days, right? If you ever knew about that software from over a year ago, uh, it was actually eventually uh, purchased for millions of dollars um, by um, GoDaddy. And they promised to come out with something within a year and they didn't, right? They just bought the technology, but they haven't done anything with it. But here we are at Pictory and Pictory has uh, taken where Vidnami was and they've multiplied it by 10. Uh, at this point, Vidnami can't even come close to what Pictory has uh, implemented with their technology. They went all the way. They started off as a little tiny little software, didn't even uh, get the concepts. I was actually, I actually t uh, gave them tips on what they needed to add into their software back in the beginning. Uh, I was working directly with the creator of Pictory and letting them, uh, telling them like you got, you need to have auto uh, voiceover sync. Uh, Vietnami had that. You guys have to uh, implement that. And then, you know, it took uh, two weeks or a month and then they were there where you could upload a voiceover and it would automatically uh, sync to the script and everything. So um, they have taken their software serious and grown like crazy. You can even come over here to Simulator web and look. Um, well, actually, if we come over to, we have to go over here 
and type in Pictory and go to their uh, main uh, website right here. This is what it looks like. Uh, both the links to Jasper and Pictory, I will leave in the um, in the description below. Go check them out. You can even go sign up for free trials uh, to both of them, actually. Uh, but we're going to go over here and look at Samira Web. Now, look at this. They have a million people or more coming to their site every month. They have grown their business like crazy, right? So then that means that they have enough funding to continue development on their software and making it just the best that it can be, right? So we're inside Pictory. We're going to go proceed. And then we're going to just throw in our text right over here. Um, I'm going to, I don't like how it's bunched up. I'm not sure if we can right click possibly okay let me go over here i'm going to open up a notepad and see how that pastes okay so it pastes really well like that i'm going to go ahead and copy this and see if we can get it to paste like that okay that's what you wanted to do so you're going to want to um it's recommended go ahead and paste it into notepad first a notepad and then paste it in here right so then you can see it but here we go um, you can highlight um, the ai for better visuals so if you want to come through here so right here and what you can do is like right over here, definitely a border collie. You're gonna highlight that and then push highlight, right? So you've got border collie, um, smartest dogs in the world, maybe maybe highlight that. And then just come through on each one of these, definitely gonna go with poodle right here. Um, and then, um, so like if you, if it if the software hangs out on poodle, it's not gonna hang out that entire time, right? And then it might end up, um, just showing a slide about allergies. So the more time you spend right here, um, the better, right? So just so you know, the more time you spend highlighting what you want it to show um, is going to be a better right here, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just, um, at least at the bare minimum on each one, you want to make sure that you kind of highlight the you know golden retriever and the doberman real quick all right so i've highlighted them we'll see how it turns out but then we're going to go and go to proceed right here and then this is where you can uh, select from all the different ones so kind of just uh, you can even go to youtube and see what other videos uh, look like i would say probably this red ink or the sunrise um, is going to look pretty good they are continuing they continue to add new ones all the time so we can come through here. This one looks pretty good as well. So you have plenty to choose from, right? We're going to come up here. I think I'm just going to go with this one right here. So we're going to go with sunrise and uh, you can make this, uh, you know, square video. You can make this, um, you know, a portrait video uh, for TikTok, um, for YouTube shorts. Um, you can go for Instagram reels right here, but then 16 by nine is going to be your full length YouTube video. And we're going to go select that and just push select and then continue. Right? So it's really easy. Artificial intelligence is artificial intelligence is, has already done everything for us up into this point, right? All the way up into this point. Now I am going to show you while it's loading, um, that you can go out and use AI, uh, voice text to speech, right? And there's some really good ones. There's actually some options. There's uh, well said labs. Um, so here's one right here. And then there's another one, right? And then if you go to pricing, it's pretty expensive on price, right? And then there's this other new one, play.ht. And they're getting some traction, getting up to a million people um, going to their site as well. Um, we can go and I wanna see if I can test something out over here. Um, ultra realistic voices. You have to be on one of their, um, um, highest plans. Um, but you can see that this is what it's going to sound like of limitless curiosity throughout the imp Welcome to this. In today's video, we're at how building a strategic. That one sounds like a really good YouTube voice right there. Improves employee retention beyond their first year and boosts employee performance in the long run. In today's video. So um, you can go through, those are the ultra realistic voices. They sound like 98% real. Like you, I really just don't think uh, in many cases that you'd even be able to identify. But um, let me just say, do that at your own risk, right? You're going to be putting in a lot of work into your YouTube channel and growing it to a point where it's going to be monetized and making you money. Um, you know, so I'm going to give you two tiers. The first recommend recommendation is to record the voice over yourself um, because that's not going to cost you any money. It's only going to cost you time, right? So if you're just getting started, you don't have a huge budget, you get these other two tools, 
and then you do the voiceovers yourself and you'll be able to sync them inside of here, right? You'll be able to upload them and they'll instantly match to Pictory, which is awesome. And that is a great way to do it. My second tier that I would recommend is that you go to Fiverr or Upwork or um, any other place that you can get someone to do voiceovers. Probably Fiverr is going to be the place where you'll be able to find some gems in there. People just getting started with voiceover uh, to get your voiceover created um, by a real human, right? And you have to be careful. Unfortunately, you have to be careful on Fiverr that, you know, I'd say probably 15 to 20 percent of the gigs now are using AI um, as and selling that as a as a as a gig. So you want to be careful. Go to ones that, you know, uh, you obviously you can tell when it's AI. So um, that is my second tier is that you're going to have to go and hire someone. It's going to cost between uh, 10 and probably $40. That's a, there's a, that's a kind of a big range, but uh, depending on who you hire, it's going to cost 10 to 40 bucks to get your voiceover um, created. And then the third tier would be if you want to experiment, if you want to go and sign up to one of these uh, monthly plans and just get your videos out there and everything, um, then you can do that. But just remember it's risky because YouTube does not, um, like I have had a channel, com uh, demonetized completely like taken away because I, um, posted like three AI voice generated in a row. So you're going to get hundreds of people, uh, YouTubers telling you to go out and do that, right? Go and pick these up and then you can make a million dollars on YouTube, but you're going to, it's the, the chance of success doing that is pretty low. YouTube doesn't like AI voice. Um, they, in some respects, the audio of your video is the most important thing. So they want real people talking to you, right? So um, those are my tiers. Just take that, uh, take um, some of it with a grain of salt. But also, um, if I was, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. I'm going to either record it myself or I'm going to hire someone to do the voiceovers, right? But we can do all the other stuff. 70% of the job we can do with AI, okay? So we've got all these different scenes. We've got a border collie right there. Um, and then we can come through here. We've got another border collie. And then we've got uh, just m uh, more dogs right here. Now I'm not really sure. Yeah, those are dogs. Okay. So you can just come through here and click on these to see um, nature and pups. Yep. They've got some puppies. And then there's, uh, so second in our list is the poodle. Now I'm not sure that doesn't look like a poodle. So what you do is when you're um, hovered over right here, we can actually combine these two see how it made the image the same now and then we can come over here to visuals real quick and we can just say poodle and there's a perfect poodle right there so you just spend some time in here and you've got all these uh, videos in here it's fun i get comments um how much does it cost to get these videos um you know like uh, wherever they're getting them story blocks or wherever they're getting them no this comes with a subscription they p are paying you know, thousands of dollars to like story blocks and all these places uh, per month. Um, so you don't have to. And so all of the videos that are um, included in here are included in your, um, your subscription to Pictory. So you don't have to uh, do anything, right? The watermarks will go away. Uh, once you, you know, download the video, uh, download the video or render the video. All right. So we've got some really good stuff. So I, you just go through, spend some time, they're intelligent and eagerness, uh, coats. So I'm not really sure. So this is where you definitely need to spend the time, spend 15, 20 minutes going through every slide to make sure it matches or the quality is not going to be there and people aren't going to subscribe to your channel or continue watching it. Right. Because right, right here, we're talking about dog, um, their, their fur, their curly coats, right. Um, uh, and what the AI right here, um, decided to go for is the coat, uh, like a human, uh, coat, right? A, a human coat made out of animals, which is just would be awful, right? To some people watching this. So you don't want to do that where you want to come back over to visuals and we want to continue to go and just grab another poodle, uh, image over here. So that's really cute. That's uh, there's a poodle right there. So we can grab that and come back over. So it's really easy to switch these out, right? You're going to go, oh, we've got German Shepherd. Um, and then, so it doesn't know, the AI doesn't know that now, now it's just talking about a uh, family pet and, and knows dog, but it doesn't know that these two are linked. So then you can just click this link button right here. They've thought of so many different things. I just, I, I love it. Pictory is just awesome. Um, so then now you have this um, German Shepherd right there. Um, or you can unlink these and you have German Shepherd. That's a German Shepherd puppy. But then if we come back over here to this one, we can get a, maybe another German Shepherd, right? So, and German Shepherd, right? 
So then we have this really cool German Shepherds right here. Cool German Shepherd right there. Pick that one and come back. So you'll be able to create some really nice videos, right? So uh, I'm not going to go through the rest, bore you with those, but just um, those, are, those are the tips. Definitely want to click on each one, make sure it matches with every single one of them. And when you have these short sentences like this, um, it's okay to go ahead and just link them together. And then you'll, it saves you time. It saves you time. Um, so then what you're going to do is you, like I said, if you have the voiceover, then you're going to go over to audio and you're going to upload your voiceover right here. And then there's a, a place where you can say, uh, select all. So you can um, select it uh, for the entire video, right? Um, and then uh, you can use these, but I definitely would not recommend doing this, right? Do not use these because they are not going to be human sounding. You're not going to ever have success on your channel. Um, so don't do this. You need to upload one that you hired someone. You, you need to upload one that you recorded yourself um, is what I recommend. Or uh, worst case scenario, you don't put you don't put the 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 audio and people would actually read this and you just put music on there. So um, this is a great way that you can go out and build a YouTube channel using AI. You can use a chat GPT alternative such as Jasper chat, which I showed you right here. It is super fast works really well, gives you full scripts, just like you're going to get um, with it. It talks to you. It's intelligent like uh, chat GPT. It's based on the same technology. Um, oh, that's another thing. If we take this guys, if you, uh, hopefully you made it all the way to the end, this is another cool thing. So if we copy this text and we go over to this place called originality dot AI, and I can leave a link below if you're interested in this as well, but uh, I'm going to go with a new content scan. I'm going to paste this in, right? And I'm not going to do plagiarism. I know it's not going to have plagiarism, but we're going to scan this and detect AI. Now you take this with a grain of salt, but I can tell you right now with chat GPT, almost 95% of the time when I scan for AI, it's um, usually a hundred percent AI, right? And this is Ch Jasper is showing up at 99% original. That means that it's as if um, this machine learning is looking at this as if we went and hired someone to humanly write all that text right here, right? This would have costed us 10, at least 10 bucks on Fiverr. Um, and it's picking up at 99% original. Now, this is only one tool. Um, and of course it's, it's new. It's one of the newest of its kind, which is actually can detect it's built to detect AI content such as chat, uh, GPT. It definitely, um, discovers chat GPT's text as, um, a, as AI. Um, and so this is kind of like, if people are, are nervous about what Google might do with like blog posts and what it gets into a whole nother story, right? If they're going to ever ding you for not having original content and uh, ding it as, um, written as AI, this tool is one of the first that is, um, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but is detecting AI content. And so that is another reason that, uh, that's another reason that I would take Jasper over chat GBT, not talking about the intelligence and all the other different things you can do with uh, chat GBT, which is insane, but this one can do similar, but it is, uh, has algorithms built on top of it. Uh, you know, Jasper has their, um, their own engineers, their own so uh, uh, software um, developers and um, coders and people that are working on this um, daily to create something that is going to be uh, come up with unique content that's not even detectable by AI. They have to do this. Uh, don't think for a second that they haven't thought of um, and they're not aware of this tool. Um, tools like originality.ai, they know that they have to score high right over here or eventually people will stop sub, uh, subscribing to them. And that's why uh, Jasper continues to stay strong with their um, their subscribers uh, to their software, right? So anyways, kind of a rant on that. But uh, anyways, I'll be doing more videos on this. This is really impressive. It came up with a really nice script for us. Pictory did its job and created a really nice video for us. And you can do this. You can build up your videos very quickly, build up your YouTube business. Um, I'll leave links to uh, Jasper and Pictory and originality um, below. Thank you for joining me. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe so you get more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.